And it, we did have some snow this morning and also some rain and wintry precipitation. Really didn't amount to much this morning, but we did have some slick roadways to start. And on our local three radar network, nothing really big going on. We do have some snow showers around the Marquette area that aren't amounting to much. But as we look at our radar and satellite, you can see that we do see some spotty precipitation being picked up in the eastern UP. And then once again, like I said, around the Marquette area. As we look at our current temperatures, temperatures are above the freezing mark in a good number of UP locations. We have a lot of 36s here on the map, including downtown Marquette, Munising, Manistique, Escanaba, and also 36 degrees for Iron Mountain. A bit chillier, though, as you head into the western UP, 31 degrees for Ironwood. High temperature today officially at the Weather Service, 34 degrees. 24 was this morning's low temperature. And downtown Marquette, the U.S. Coast Guard, 37 was today's high. Picked up two tenths of an inch of snow, and that brings our winter snow total to 81 inches of snow weather anytime on our WJMN local three app also online at upmatters.com and find us on Facebook at WJMN TV and while you're at Facebook join our 906 weather watchers page. Here's what's ahead. We're looking at light precipitation in some spots for tonight and also for Friday won't amount to much. Just be careful of some slick roads, especially your back and secondary roads. Our next weather note or our next weather thing that we're going to notice around here is going to come on Sunday and that's our next storm system that's going to be coming in from Canada, Alberta clipper type storm system, and that's going to bring us some UP wide snow. Nothing really out of control is expected, nothing really heavy, but maybe enough to bring out the snow shovels for Sunday. And then we're looking at colder temperatures potentially as we go into next week. So here's our local three future cast. I have the temperatures on here as well, and we'll go ahead and put this into motion here and you can see clouds, maybe some light precipitation as we go through the rest of the night. Look for low temperatures tonight generally in the 20s in most spots. And then as we go into the daytime on Friday, you can see some clouds, maybe some spotty precipitation. Look for high temperatures across Upper Michigan for our Friday afternoon in the 20s and 30s. Coldest temperatures, I think, tomorrow afternoon will be west of Marquette. And then as we go into Friday night, maybe some light precipitation. Saturday, I think we're dry Saturday, but definitely more clouds than sun. Saturday's high temperatures will be in the 20s and 30s once again. And then it's Sundays when we we start to see UP wide snow move on in. Here's your forecast for tonight. We're looking at low temperatures. Like I said, most spots in the 20s. Light precipitation is possible in the form of maybe some light snow, a light wintry mix, and maybe even some light rain. Maybe some gusty winds as well, especially in the Keweenaw Peninsula, maybe closer to Lake Superior. As we look at that seven day forecast here, we're looking at temperatures 20s and 30s the next two days. Friday, some light precipitation. And then as we go into Saturday, we're looking at mainly a cloudy day. And and then for Sunday, we're looking at some UP wide snow to move on through. Look for high temperatures around 30 or into the 30s. Some snow showers may linger on Monday and then on Tuesday we have a snow chance. But as you can see, temperatures are starting to trend just a little bit colder as we go into next week. And we might flirt with a little bit of Arctic air for the middle of next week. You can see Wednesday's high temperatures will be in the teens and 20s. You can see our nighttime lows do drop off just a little bit as well with low temperatures generally in the teens in most spots. You can always get your latest weather forecast and on our website at upmatters.com. Seems like it should be pretty tame.